Australia is a nation of endless delights nestled between the breathtaking Pacific and Indian Oceans. With its vast landscapes and diverse experiences, Australia offers something for every traveler. From immersing yourself in the rich Aboriginal culture to basking on sun-kissed beaches and exploring vibrant city life, this country has it all. So come along with us as we reveal the most incredible spots to visit in Australia. But before we get started, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you can keep up to date with all our latest destinations. Starting with number 10 on the list is Perth. Perth, Western Australia's capital, is quite distant from the rest of the country, but it is consistently ranked as one of the most livable cities in the world due to its laid-back ambiance, outstanding cultural landmarks, and a diverse choice of things to do. Many of Perth's attractions are near water, whether it's the beaches of the Sunset Coast to the north or the parks, hikes, and picnic places along the Swan River. Fremantle, often referred to as Freo by locals, is the city's port, a lively marina that has recently developed a reputation as a haven for artists and students. Perth's most popular beach is Castelio Beach, located a few kilometers north of Fremantle. There is a thousand-acre King's Monument which comprises Mount Eliza, a hill overlooking the city and features a botanical garden with aerial walkways as well as the State War Memorial Monument. Next is there, the Perth Zoo, which allows visitors to get up close and personal with kangaroos and other Australian creatures. In sun and sea-loving Perth, you can swim with dolphins, grill on the bank of a river, or visit the Aquarium of Western Australia, which is the country's biggest aquarium. Kangaroo Island Kangaroo Island, Australia's third largest island, is located close off the coast of South Australia, about a 45-minute ferry ride from Cape Jarvis. Its charmingly unspoiled settings are home to stunning scenery and an abundance of wildlife, making one of the state's most popular tourist destinations. Its diverse nature reserves contain everything from massive dunes and towering cliffs to vast caves and amazing rock formations. These are home to encitas, koalas and kangaroos, as well as penguins, sea lions, and dolphins. Its varied landscapes are ideal for a wide range of outdoor activities. Kangaroo Island has plenty of wonderful local vegetables and fine wines for visitors to try, in addition to its abundant natural treasures, wildlife, and recreation options. These can be sampled in any of the island's four main towers or at the many small farms and wineries that dot the landscape. Brisbane Brisbane, a renowned tourist destination, is a vibrant, dynamic city that enjoys year-round sunshine. It has a population of almost 2 million people, making it Australia's third largest city after Sydney and Melbourne. Many travelers stop through on their route to the magnificent resorts and beaches to the north and south of the Sunshine State. The city's great climate means that outdoor sports are particularly popular here. You may choose from a vast catalog with bicycling, climbing, and hiking featured prominently. Brisbane is a lively and welcoming city with a vibrant music industry that has made it one of the world's music capitals, and there are many places in town where you can enjoy a terrific event. Brisbane is not to be missed with a plethora of fantastic restaurants and bars to select from. Tasmania the island state of Tasmania may be isolated from the rest of Australia, but it remains one of the best places to visit in Australia. About half of its land area is protected as the government seeks to preserve the natural resources. Exploring its terrain is mesmerizing, with stark wildness and alpine plateaus intermingled with magnificent white beaches, waterfalls, and woods. A boat excursion along its rugged shoreline is similarly rewarding, and you can even spot dolphins, penguins, and seals. Wit Sunday Islands the Whitsunday Islands, one of Australia's most famous tourist attractions, are dispersed off Queensland's northeastern coast, surrounded by warm and enticing azure waters. Because it is part of the Great Barrier Reef, the majority of the archipelago is protected by national parks. Thus, breathtaking landscapes and picture-perfect beaches abound. The Whitsundays is a terrific area to go snorkeling and scuba diving because of the wealth of undersea riches and colorful coral reefs. Sail around its 74 islands and islets are very popular, as it is sunbathing on the sands. The Archipelago's Whitehaven Beach is one of the most stunning beaches in the world. While the Whitsunday Islands are most recognized for their national beauty, they also happen to be home to some of the country's oldest Aboriginal archaeological sites. Because the lovely islands are mostly empty and undeveloped, with just a few resorts and campsites dotted about, it is recommended to plan tours and activities at Airlie Beach on the mainland. Melbourne. Melbourne, the capital of the state of Victoria, is Australia's second most populous city. 
Melbourne, located on Australia's southeastern coast on the vast natural harbour of Port Phillip, is both the nation's cultural centre and an important port. Citizens from all over the world have come to the streets because of its good quality of life. Its eclectic population is reflected in the great cuisine and distinctive neighbourhoods that make it such an intriguing location to visit. The city centre sector of Melbourne has the biggest attractions, including the city's most famous monument, the Flinders Street Railway Station. The many clocks hanging above the entrance to the Edwardian era station are a popular meeting place. The 80th floor observation platform of the Eureka Tower is the highest in the Southern Hemisphere. Visitors can walk out onto a glass enclosed compartment for panoramic views of the bay and the surrounding green Dandenong Mountain Range. This Southern Hemisphere's largest museum can be found in the Carlton District. The Melbourne Museum highlights the nation's rich social history, from indigenous cultures to football and horse racing, as well as large exhibits depicting Australia's natural heritage. Kataku National Park Kataku National Park, which has been occupied by Aboriginal people for over 40,000 years, features over 5,000 old rock art sites that are intriguing to explore. It has enormous cultural and environmental value. The park is vast and features several beautiful natural sites, making it well worth the visit. The Kagaku Escarpment is particularly impressive. With the park's different habitats, you can be climbing through deserted sandstone escarpments one minute and soaking in waterfalls and pools the next, before learning about some of the ancient rock paintings. While it can become very crowded, Kakaku's vast acreage means that you can easily appreciate all the park has to offer in peace and quiet, if you go a little off the usual route. The Great Barrier Reef The Great Barrier Reef, the world's largest coral reef system, is simply massive. The Great Barrier Reef, located in the Coral Sea off the coast of Australia's state of Queensland, comprises a vast region with more than 2,900 coral reefs in hundreds of islands and caves. The reef, formed over millions of years by millions of living organisms, is now one of the world's most diverse and complex ecosystems. While the reef has always been recognized and used by Torres Strait Islanders and Aboriginal Australian people, it is now protected by the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park. It is home to a diverse range of marine life, including 1,500 fish species and 360 corals, as well as whales, dolphins, marine turtles, sea snakes, and birds that breed on the small islands. The best way to experience the reef is aboard one of these several boat trips that run along Queensland's northern coast. Cairns is considered the principal gateway to the Great Barrier Reef, however other places such as Townsville, Port Douglas, Yapoon, Mission Beach, and Cooktown also have cruise operations. Uluru Kata Juta National Park Uluru, Australia's most iconic and magnificent monument, is readily recognizable due to its reddish-red tint. The massive rock is fantastic to visit and is the major reason the national park is so popular. Its magnificence and originality will live on in the minds of those who see it. While Uluru is the primary attraction, the equally stunning rock formations of Katajuta are worth exploring and there are many activities for visitors to enjoy. The place is of significant cultural and spiritual value to the Agnagu Aboriginal people, and you can learn more about their way of life in the wonderful cultural center. The breathtaking grandeur of this national park is truly awe-inspiring, with numerous fantastic walks, bike rides, and tours. Last and number one on our list is Sydney. Sydney is a beautiful city with a lot going for it that makes it almost picture perfect. Sydney, a modern metropolis with a lengthy history, is characterized by its picturesque harbor. For thousands of years, the region's early residents resided along the harbor's bank. During the 1780s, the harbor served as a landing point for prisoners bound for Australia. Adventurers can board a ferry to Manly Wharf and rent kayaks to paddle the inlets of Sydney Harbour National Park. Or they can join up for surf luffins at Manly Beach. The Federation Cliff Walk is a 5km long walkway that begins in Raleigh Reserve Park and provides beautiful views of the sea, harbour in Australia's first and longest operational lighthouse, the Macquarie Lighthouse. Sydney's beaches are ideal for spending a hot summer day swimming or simply relaxing on the dunes. Pondy Beach, Manly Beach, and Coogee are the most popular, but there are many others. A trip to Sydney would be incomplete without a visit to the Sydney Opera House. As we wrap up this look at Australia's amazing places to visit, don't forget to click subscribe to stay up to date on more travel inspirations, and tell us in the comments below which place you would like to visit the most. Until next time, stay tuned.